Hey Mountain Slugs, today we're going to talk about dirty suspension. This includes your stanchions on your fork and also your seat dropper. You can see here all this dirt gets piled up from your sill, wiping it off there as it gets actuated up and down. We're going to talk about how to get rid of that. So I was on Amazon, found this WPL fork lube, fork boost lube, Whistler performance lubricants. Now I already tried it on one bike just to kind of see how it works and it's pretty amazing. It doesn't require a lot and it really helps the seat dropper. My seat dropper is getting pretty sticky and a lot of times you spill a little bit of stiction in your stanchions here. So it is Tuesday. This is Tech Tuesday. We're going to do a little tech tip here. See how it goes. So first thing we're gonna do, I got this up in the stand. I like using these microfiber towels. I kind of retire the old ones from washing cars and windows and whatnot. And we wanna just kind of wipe this. Now, it's always best to keep your bike clean, which we normally do. But we, when we went riding the other day, it was pretty gnarly and it's getting, trails are pretty dry. So we're gonna go ahead and just wipe this down. Top of the seal. Try to get up as much of the loose dirt off there that we can. Give it a shake. Same with the seat post dropper. Just gonna wipe some of that loose stuff off. It does get built up there. Make sure she's clean. And we're gonna take it out of the stand set it on the ground. Instructions say place oh, drop a little on the floor just kind of above the seal here just around there. We're just going to actuate this a few times. Wow, you can already feel the difference. Way less resistance going up and down. We'll grab a fresh blue towel here, wipe off the junk that it pushed out. It actually pushed out a bit. My daughter's bike, it was quite a bit came out of there. That's just off the top of the sill and the seat dropper. So let's see what the fork does. Let me go ahead and Place some on here. The back side of the fork's a little bit harder to do, but oh gosh, we, we oozed a little bit too much there. So I might, I might actually better see if we can spread it with our finger, but just trying to use the applicator. And even I think if we put it a little higher on the stanchion for this inside edge, it should be adequate. And then you're just going to hold your front brake, put your body on it. I like to run my suspension a little stiffer than some people. Looks like we got some junk out of there and I could tell it was uh, actuating a lot smoother. So now we'll just wipe off what's left. I'm sure these are pretty dirty. I bought this in the end of December. It's now the end of July, and this is the first time I've serviced it, other than just cleaning it up a little bit as we ride. So fork wasn't too bad. Um, seat dropper was pretty bad. Definitely want to make sure you get this stuff cleaned up. Um, dirt will stick to this pretty pretty good I can tell just by the consistency of it feels like it's got some I'm sure it has some silicone in it Let's clean that up yeah that's that's really nice and smooth now so there it is Tech Tuesday keep your stuff clean keep it keep it uh, ready to roll remember keep inching your way to the top <laughs>